could have been a lot worse when you consider this particular well, story regarding Harry and Meghan. But as ever, as I often say, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London and as ever. Nice to see you, thank you so much for joining me. Also, thank you for your kind comments about the action heroes, the dolls and stuff. It's amazing, isn't it? You know, dolls define a, an era, don't they? A decade, evil can evil. A lot of people have forgotten about him. Very big, wasn't he, when you think about it? And one of those sort of superheroes that was born out of supreme talent, you know. I mean, you're younger, you think it's fabulous, don't you, somebody jumping over a collection of buses. Now you just think, oh, be careful. You might do your hipping. <laughs> you know, that's age for you, isn't it? Everything becomes a problem. You know, when you're young, you think, oh, yeah, looks great. We'll just do that. The bionic woman, do you remember when she used to push her hair behind her ears and then she could listen in on people's conversations? Where I'm from in the north, that's called nosy, snooping in, listening in, you know. I love that, though. I thought, oh, wow, can you imagine being able to do that? Just sit next to someone and listen to their thoughts and all that sort of stuff. <gasps> Don't get me going back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. Story, as we often say here on the show, really, when you think about it, is incredible because Netflix launched that documentary just before Christmas and apparently it was an event you know oh yes those that two pictured on the steps coming down we were supposed to be in awe about what bombshells they were going to say but as we found out it was more regurgitation wasn't it more of the same you know Megan claiming she didn't have security why who was she who were people looking for her never truly explained and then Harry regurgitated the usual uh, claptrap and nonsense that he comes out with boy that book looks even thinner each time you re-watch or look at these clips but it is interesting to think that Netflix waited over two years to try and get something from them and if you remember of course they denied at the very start of the onset with their deal with them that they were going to be doing like a Kardashians type reality TV show you know and that's really what it was wasn't it they were clearly filming for many many months on phones surreptitiously trying to get footage the platinum jubilee do you remember of course they wanted to come over for the christening that would have made an incredible insert into their documentary to have our late and wonderful monarch her majesty the queen there for of course the christening of their daughter lily but it never happened they couldn't make it work the royal family a little bit too shrewd for that sort of stuff good to note but what is interesting is this while we enjoyed six episodes yes six episodes of your life you'll never get back it could have been nine but the initial plan was to have 12. according to a very good source and as ever we have to say allegedly but this is a former employee that worked on that particular project for netflix until he got booted in the cash strap world that they're now living in because subscribers have decided to remove themselves from paying for this stuff and nonsense what's interesting here though is they really thought well yeah you know 12 episodes that's not bad and the bottom line is they could have made more money very quickly as we saw with the previous director they realized they didn't have anything that's because most of the stuff had been given away with another deal with oprah winfrey and what they were looking at was even more regurgitation so they couldn't put that out again they didn't really get anything from the new york visit there was nothing from the platinum jubilee so bosses really had to make that finite decision and say it's now we're putting it out because the bottom line is there isn't enough to sustain it as ever allegedly but what's interesting to note that both Harry and Meghan felt there were masses more of interesting things you know as it was often cited there were an hour and a half longer of uncut things from the Oprah Winfrey interview could anybody sustain the interest? I don't think so. It's interesting, isn't it? Because then Megan decided to hit out at the director saying it's through her lens. It's not necessarily or the way we would have told our story, but we are putting our lives in her hands, basically saying it's rubbish, but the bottom line is we're getting paid for it. Whichever way you look at it, you have to say, how grateful are you now to find out that it was only six episodes and not the 12 that it could have been. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.